Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Thursday the 27th of March 2014 and uh, today we're looking at this video uh, by Zero Point UFO which was originally called Triangular UFO Descends Upon the Moon, 8th of February 2014. Now to his credit Zero Point UFO has just updated the title and description of this video to include this update, Epsilon Tauri Occultation. And this is following uh, comments from several people pointing out that the object is in fact the star Epsilon Tauri and not a unidentified flying object as suggested in the video. So let's have a look at the video and see if we can confirm what the object is. Now we have this information at the beginning of the video. The following UFO was witnessed hovering over and descending towards the lunar surface on the 8th of February 2014 at 11.15pm. And in the description area we see that this footage was taken uh, from the va vantage point of uh, Zero Point UFO's backyard in Taylors Hill, Victoria, Australia. OK, so let's have a quick look at the, the video and uh, we'll see what we're looking at. What we're looking at is this object here. Now we've got the moon down here and I'll just bring this along so that we can see more of the moon. Here we go. Here is the object again. Now this is the outer edge of the, the moon and this is the terminator line between the, the dark part of the moon and the illuminated part of the moon. Um, now as we advance through this video, which is uh, approximately 9 minutes long, the original I believe is about 16 minutes long, that's a separate upload, uh, we see that this object is slowly getting closer and closer to the, the moon. Uh, let me just find a good point. And so it's getting closer here, and again it's even closer, and down to here, I'll just play a bit of that as it's moved down. The wobble, by the way, is caused by atmospheric disturbance. Uh, I think, there we go, it's been moved down, manually moved. Okay, so I'll just pause it there. So now we can see that this UFO is pretty much at this intersection between the Terminator line and the outside edge of the moon. So let's have a look in Starry Night and see if we can positively identify this object. So here is the moon as viewed from Melbourne, Australia in Victoria. Uh, we've got Starry Night set to February the 8th 2014 at 11.15pm local time and this is daylight saving time. Now the, the green circle that we have around here is a one degree field of view. We can see here that the, the moon is slightly different orientated in our view in Starry Night. This is because in the video the camera is orientated uh, differently. It's, it's actually been rotated. Now I can't actually rotate the moon to match but that doesn't matter because we can identify where we're looking at based on the the line of the Terminator. Remember that the Terminator is, is this separation between the illuminated side of the moon and the dark part of the moon and we've got the outside edge of the moon here. So what we're looking at is this area here. Now if I zoom out a bit, all becomes clear. This is the star Epsilon Tauri, and this was its position at 11.15pm on the 8th of February. Now as I advance the time forward, by a minute at a time, we can see that that star is getting closer to the, the moon, and in fact is closing in on that intersection between the Terminator line and the outside edge of the moon just as we see here in the in the video. Okay, there is the Terminator line, there is the outside edge of the moon. And what we have to remember of course is that as the moon is orbiting the Earth it's moving through space and it's moving against the background stars so this means that the moon will actually pass in front of uh, stars and will actually occult them or cause them to um, black out or, or disappear from view. Now in this case the star just sort of grazed past the, the edge of the moon as, as we see it. Um, but there's certainly no doubt that um, this is the star Epsilon Tauri that is seen in the video 
It is not an unidentified flying object, it is a star. So hopefully that clears that up. And as I say, credit to Zero Point UFO for updating his description. Uh, there are many uh, YouTubers, uploaders who won't do that. They'll simply delete comments and try and hide the truth. So um, credit to you for doing that Zero Point UFO. Good work. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.